the seatbelt, here's the choking hand, it's rover by the neck. If we want to grab the choking hand in the seatbelt, we want to keep this tight like I'm staking the vampire, getting my own heart as well, keeping nice tight elbows in. I want to bring him to the choking side in the ideal world, clear that hand out of the way, get up here, grab his shoulder, cut the wrist, finish it up, all right? But he knows better. So he forces the action to the non-choking side. If I can, can, I'll use my head and this foot to crank him over and get him back on the choking side. But if he continues to escape and he's starting, if I don't do anything, he's gonna keep shimmying, he's gonna create space, I'm gonna try to mount, you know, and he's gonna do his thing. So, when I feel that happening, and he begins his escape, and I can't take him back to the other side, the hook comes out, becomes a little shovel on this side, I'm gonna dump him. Now I could just dump him with the antenna keeping him here, stretch him back out, put my hook in. But I can also dump him, and as I do, pull my bottom leg out. Now that I'm free, I go to north-south here. Walk, walk, walk. Keep my head right next to his head. Now, this has gotta stay tight, I can't get loose here. I walk my knees in, I come all the way up, Throw my hooks back in, get back to work. Or, once I'm here, start to angle him back. I can clear this again if I want, or just in one motion, right in here. Connect my hands, this palm down, this palm up. I don't want to be way in here. Short choke. Use my shoulders as a backstop, and don't just squeeze here. Use gravity to get the choke. So, grabbing the choking hand. He's starting his escape. I put my hook in, I dump him. As I back out, I walk out. I walk up. I can throw my hook back in. Or I start to choke here. It's gonna get two hands here. He's got it. This is an automatic finisher. So he's surviving. I really put pressure on, and then I release the pressure when I'm ready. North-south choke. Now, I don't wanna leave weight on him. I wanna scoop back, scoop back. This hand is down. Choking hands down, the other hand comes in up. And then once I back up, get his chin to lift, get my lap next to him here, I drop my shoulder in. So I'm here, then I drop my shoulder in to the choking zone. But, guys, defend that. So I'm here, I'm here, I'm backing up. This is one of the defenses they use. They frame out and start to push my head, maybe you try to roll me or whatever. When this, yeah, when this happens, I squeeze a little extra to get a reaction. And then this hand's gonna come up. I'm gonna hop both knees on either side of his head. Drop my weight forward. Catch the wrist, pull him up onto his side, finish. If he's holding, rip this way. I'll kneel, rip it out, finish. If I can't do that, okay, I'll back step out, keep my weight on his shoulder. If I can keep my hands connected, I will. If I can't, it's a quick let go, slam. So, if I can keep them connected, I will. If I can't, and I realize I can't, quick let go, re grab. Now, from here, if he starts to turn and tries to get to, to his uh, back, is he, yeah, then I'll step over and do like a mount, I do a chair sit, and now I got his back. If he's slow to react, I can just sit him back up and start the whole series over again. Okay.